Hi everyone, um, welcome to my 10 week pregnancy vlog. I am on set, Whee! <laughs> um, I'm working, I'm back at work after having a week off because one of our cast members had COVID so then we had to stand down for 10 days. I am so hopeful that this will not happen again and that we will not have to stand down again but we are now having daily COVID tests actually every single day having something shoved up my nose um, and then you get the results within 45 minutes so I have a feeling this means we're going to be safe um, their protocols are very strong here on this set which is great anyway um, I thought I would do my uh, vlog a little bit early I'm 10 weeks two days and typically I try and do it 10 weeks three days or 10 weeks four days um, but I decided to do a bit early because I'm working so much this week that this is the first time I've had a moment to myself. I know I'm going to be chilling in the trailer for a little bit longer. Poet's not here. The kids aren't here. I have time to myself. What even is that? Um, so here I am. So you'll be getting these videos. I'm going to announce when I'm about 14 weeks or so in, in about a month, I'll announce. Actually, on my birthday, I decided to do it. So... Um, that's really cool. I'm excited to do that. But it just means all of these will be backlogged. So if you're watching it, um, I'm now more pregnant in the future. Um, yeah, so this week has been really good, really good. So last week, I think I talked about this, was the worst week so far for nausea. Um, I was nine weeks. It hit me around nine weeks, two days. So I felt kind of fine at nine weeks and nine weeks, one day and nine weeks, two days onwards. I felt shocking. So I actually think it was a bit of a blessing in disguise that I was at home and not having to work because I have a lot of dialogue heavy stuff this week. Um, and it was just, I just felt gross from the moment I woke up until I went to bed. It was just a horrible feeling. <laughs> I felt like I wanted to vomit all the time, felt exhausted. I had a headache, zero energy, and I just felt really sluggish and, and kind of bad for not having the energy to hang out with the kids and um, be as engaged as I generally like to be with them. I just felt like such a boring mum. I was like, I'm on the couch got my little blanket on. I'm like, please, Mark, make me food. The only food I wanted to eat was his food. He's such a good cook. He really is like a Michelin star cook. He's absolutely sensational and he's really creative in the kitchen and he just knows my tastes and what I love. So he, his food was the only food I could eat. So poor thing. I was just like, and what's for lunch? And what's for snack? And what's for dinner? And I was having cravings last week. So I really wanted a spinach artichoke dip. And we're vegan. And I haven't had um, a spinach artichoke dip since... Probably since 2011 when I wasn't vegan. Um, and they've got really amazing creamy ones. There's this one place in LA called Toast Cafe that is known for its spinach artichoke dip. And it's warm and chunky. And it has this whole bunch of feta all melted into it it is really so sensational it's delicious um and they serve it with warm chips and I was just craving that dip and I was like I need someone to make me the vegan version of that um and I feel like I've never been successful at making a spinach artichoke dip vegan I always use cashew nuts and it's just it just doesn't have the same vibe it doesn't have the same taste the same like gooeyness Mark figured it out. Don't know what he did. Master Chef did it and he made me this amazing dip. Oh, it was good. I just, I love salty food right now. I also love sweet food. I really indulged yesterday at work. I just ate a massive apple pie and then I had like three brownies in a row. Um, anyway, this week I'm feeling so much better. So I had to get week nine out the way got back to work. I'm exhausted because I've been having to wake up really early to go to work and I just have these really big scenes. Um, however, I just can't tell you how much better I feel. I have energy. I feel more like myself again. I, it's just that little period. I think it, it really was from six and a half weeks to nine and a half weeks. Um, 
And then the moment I hit 10 weeks, I've been feeling great. So we saw our baby as well. We saw Bubby um, on Tuesday. So that was exactly my 10 week scan. Um, I was 10 because Tuesday is my tick over day. So it was exactly 10 weeks. And as I've said to you before, obviously this is a surprise baby. We were not actively trying to get pregnant. So I don't really know exactly which day we conceived because we only did it one time far away from ovulation from what I thought um, was the date that I ovulate. I thought I'd ovulate a week later. So obviously that ovulation came back a bit, but I don't know how far back it came. So I don't really know the exact date. And I had just kind of figured it out. I did some research. I was like, all right, I'm going to guess I ovulated like day 15. Um, and so I put that, I've put that in as my due date and bam, it was exactly on. So my due date is August the 24th. Um, and that's what I guessed. And baby is measuring exactly on August 24th expected due date, which is really lovely. Uh, so that was cool. And we saw, I, I keep wanting to say her, we saw her. I know we found out the gender last week, but I don't, I'm not a hundred, a hundred percent sure until I get the NIPT test back. I know the sneak peek test is very accurate, but I've also heard stories where it, ha it has not been accurate. So I keep wanting to say her and say her name. Um, um, I'm, I'm like 97% sure it's her. Um, but in case it's not, it's my little boy. And I don't want him to feel like I, you know, there was a chance that it was him and I was talking about baby girl. But anyway, I saw our baby. It doesn't matter. Gender, it doesn't matter. I saw our baby and our baby was healthy and moving around and um I, I just I get so nervous and so anxious walking into a scan and of course that's because I've had a loss before and I've had a really awful scan I know that feeling I just know that the sinking feeling where you're waiting and they're trying to find the heartbeat and they're trying to find it and they're looking around and they're like oh this isn't this isn't a healthy pregnancy and I just like it's the worst feeling. Um, so many of you watching have probably been through it. And so Mark and I always go into scans just with beta breath. Is it going to be good news or is it not going to be good news? And we had prepped ourselves. We said, look, you know what? We're sitting in the car park. We said, we can get through anything. We can get through anything. And if this doesn't go our way, we'll get through it. We will get through it. But we sort of spin ourselves out before a scan and then we got in there and she put it on and I just was searching. I was just, I was searching the screen. I was looking for the heartbeat immediately. I was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And she's like, there it is. I can see it. I was like, I can't see it. She was like, right there. And she zoomed in a bit more and then I could see like, boom, 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 boom. which was just amazing. And um, our baby had their little hand by their face up here like this. Um, and we saw the little legs, we saw two little arms and two little legs. And then, um, she, the, the woman who did the scan was like, oh, get up on your feet and sort of wiggle your hips around like this on the, on the bench. And I was like, okay. So I did that to wake the baby up and she was like, keep wiggling and then come back down and have a look. And she's like, yep, you woke her up. And she had guessed it was a girl too, by the um, point, her nub point. Um, you can look that up, nub theory. Although I hear at 10 weeks it's not actually accurate because boys and girls' nubs look the same and it's not until 12 weeks when, like, the angle of the nub is different. Anyway, she was like, oh, if I was to put my money on it, I'd say a girl. Um, so we just saw her and it was fantastic and she, she measured really well. They didn't take a heart rate. She just said they don't recommend getting the heart rate, which is – quite random but um it's fine but I could see that it was just healthy and Bubby was sort of moving around she she was moving her hand and you know the um little body was sort of jigging around and I'm um, like kicking and it was just it was so sweet um and I I loved it so much I'm really very um I'm just feeling really cautiously optimistic now that 
this pregnancy is going to continue and this baby is going to be with us and the baby is going to be in our arms. Um, my stomach is massive. And I swear to God, I'm feeling little like beep, beep. And I said that to my husband. He was like, it's far too early. But then he Googled it. Of course, Google. And he was like, oh, well, I did see that some women in their fourth pregnancy um, can feel the baby that early. And I was like, I think maybe I am feeling it. He was like, are you sure it's just not gas? Um, but I am feeling it. And so now we had the NIPT test done. Oh, I didn't bruise as much as I thought I was going to do. Um, as much as I thought I was going to. Because oh, it was really pa- like it was really painful blood test. And usually I can barely feel it. But that time it felt like I didn't really go in properly. Um I thought I was going to have a lot of bruising, but I didn't. So the NIPT test tests for a bunch of like chromosomal issues and um, uh, including Down syndrome and trisonomy 18 and a few other ones. Um, I don't know. I don't have the full list, but I ended up opting for the entire list of possible ailments. Um, and we'll get that back in 10 working days. So that will say if Bubs is healthy, we'll also 100% give the gender. And then we will see, we will see if if he or she is healthy in there. And I'm just really hoping and I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we've come this far and I'm hoping that we'll continue on and, and baby will be so help, healthy and be a part of our family um, and we're going to tell Isaac when we get to America. So we're getting to America in about two weeks time, just under two weeks. Um, and we have a little cute idea of how we're going to share the news with him. So before I go, um, I'm going to show my belly. Oh yeah. I've got like a little bit of burps. Sorry. All right. So this is my costume. So apparently in some angles, I've been looking very pregnant so they have to light it a certain way because my character's, she's meant to be pregnant at the first part of the show, um, but not the second part. Okay, I've got my mic on so you can see my little. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, baby belly. It's quite significant. So I'm wearing to try and flatten my stomach for the scene. I'm wearing a some spanks and like specific pregnancy spanks and I pull these up really high tuck this in and it all kind of disappears on camera I, I look a bit thicker than probably I did earlier in the show but um aside from that I don't think you'd really be able to tell I wear a lot of like chunky cardies and stuff to hide my belly um but yeah so overall week 10 has been really positive I feels so nice to have relief from that feeling and just to be back to my old self again. I'm not going to, um, oh, I think there's a knock at my door. Look, who knows if this means, um, I'm out of the woods in terms of nausea, but just the last few days, even though I'm tired from working at uh, working and having to get up so early, I just feel so much better. <sighs> so fingers crossed this will continue. Um, all right, guys, that's it. I hope your week 10 is going well. If you're watching this alongside me and growing at the same rate, um, sending love, keep well, keep healthy, take care of yourself, cultivate that self care and, um, enjoy your pregnancy mamas. Mwah, 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 mwah.